hi everyone i hope everyone is doing well in today's episode i'm going to show you how to shuffle game cards and display them inside your browser with javascript obviously and for the uh, makeup i'm going to use some uh, css styling and as uh, you can see as i uh, refresh the page the cards are shuffling every time from my cards array and in displaying inside my uh, payer uh, array and uh, then after that we are displaying inside the browser I have uh, downloaded them from uh, Google I found the images from Google and uh, I have uh, opened them inside the image folder and I'm gonna show you how to create that uh, cool shuffling um, event in javascript it's very fun each time you are uh, you're gonna refresh the page the cards i'm gonna display display differently no any card will be uh, displayed once again after uh, we are uh, pushing with slice from the cards array okay let's jump into the code and see how simple it is to shuffle cards and display them inside the browser and now we are creating our basic uh, elements in uh, VS Code, which are our index.html, index, sorry, everything on capital, index.html, okay, HTML, I'm going to succeed this time, I promise you, style.css for making up the uh, HTML file and app.js for our uh, javascript file let's now create our basics extension mark and uh, i've created my uh, boilerplate for my html i'm gonna link my css file in head tag style.css everything fine and here i'm gonna create the uh, section of four cards I'm going to name the div with class cards and at the bottom I'm going to source my uh, JavaScript file which is this okay we've done with uh, HTML file now we are proceeding to uh, style.css in order to have the makeup for our uh, page all right and here we are uh, doing the basic for every single element inside our uh, HTML file we are giving margin of 0 and padding 0 and box sizing border box for each individual element and for body I'm gonna give the following uh, values minimum height of uh, 100 view height board and background i'm gonna give the uh, green color as it is card game and the uh, background has to be green also i'm gonna display it flags i want every single element to be centered in the middle of the screen i want my cards to be centered in the middle of the screen as i said a line item center also okay We've done that. I'm going to style a little bit the section of four cards. I'm going to give the width of 70% uh, and I'm going to say also display flex. Nice. And also everything, as I said, just for content space around. nice and i'm gonna align item center once again and for the images inside the card section i'm gonna give the following i'm gonna give the height of 300 pixels so let's jump inside our app.js file for writing the javascript codes and here we're gonna do the following we're gonna declare two 
arrays of uh, suits and one array for ranks for the cards and uh, one empty array for cards and one empty, empty array for pair in order to push them inside randomly and have them display to the screen as I just said at the beginning so for the first array I'm gonna say switch I'm gonna s declare the following I'm gonna copy all the codes all the values inside the array I'm gonna paste here which is the clubs diamond hearts and spades with the order like this and also I'm gonna declare the ranks I'm gonna equal it uh, once again I'm gonna copy everything here in order not to uh, spend a lot of time by writing them and typing them very slowly okay it is the ace uh, jack queen king two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay I'm gonna here also create uh, the empty arrays for cards and one empty array for pair okay I've created that and here I'm gonna create the uh, shuffle function which is gonna be an array function okay array function very nice easy for the uh, card section I'm gonna create two four loops uh, nested uh, the one inside the other for the first is the suits let's switch s for the suits it's zero and s is uh, less than suits length I'm gonna increase the value by one for the first for loop and the second nested loop is for the ranks for let sorry let R equals to zero and the rank is less than ranks dot length and I'm gonna increment the value by one and now I'm gonna give the uh, following thing cards dot push I want to push every single uh, image which I'm gonna create now I'm gonna create here an image folder okay and I'm gonna put every single image that you saw at the beginning of the video of the cards images I'm gonna name it images okay I'm gonna copy them now from my uh, source code and I put them inside my images folder like this you can see we have a lot of examples here okay and now uh, we are doing the following we say images we are pushing the um, <coughs> image folder images and here I'm gonna append the uh, uh, from switch with s plus ranks with R and then I'm gonna close it with a pair of quotes and PNG for the following because each file here has the PNG extension okay after I've done that I want to control if everything's done I'm gonna display the cards inside my terminal window I'm opening and I'm saying note app.js but first I have to call this function here in JavaScript file 
shuffle. I'm calling the faction. I'm saving it. Okay. As you can see, every single. Uh, oops. I want to display it one time, not 52 times. I want to uh, go to the most outside edge of the uh, scope of the loop and run the code once again. Okay. As you can see, every single card is inside the uh, cards array. Now, once we've done with that, I'm going to do the following. I'm deleting this. I'm closing my terminal window once again. And then we are creating the following. I'm going to create one for loop once again. Let i equals to 1 is i is less and equal to 5. I'm going to display 5 cards inside the browser. I am going to increment the value by 1. And then I'm going to do the following random index r index equals with math dot floor and once again math dot random i'm gonna uh, select randomly from the cards array dot length okay and then i'm gonna do i'm gonna put inside the pairs dot push cards I'm going to select the R index and after I push my card inside my pair I have to remove it from the card array in order not to be selected once again and inserted my pair uh, array in order to do that I say cards and in order to remove the specific index I say splice I want the random index that I've selected and I want to move by one and remove it completely from the uh, array. I've done with this uh, um, loop and now I want to uh, display inside the screen. Okay, I want to open it side by side and see what we've got for the result. Once here, I want to start it with the... the uh, hold on, where is that? I want to close this images folder and I want to open my index.html with open with live server. Okay, I've started. I want this to be to the side. And for this, I'm going to say let i equals to 1, i is less and equals to 5 once again. I want to increment the value of i by 1. And for that, I'm going to say I'm going to create the image uh, element document dot create element. create the element of div okay and say I'm gonna create element of image sorry as I said it div wrongly and here inside the uh, image I want to give the source of the following uh, double quote marks but not the regular, the other ones, in order to write some uh, uh, nested code inside, dollar signs, curly braces, pair, opening the parentheses, and I say i minus 1 as the index starts from the 0. Okay, and after that, I say document dot query selector, I'm going to select the cards, class and then I'm gonna append the child append child of image that I've created press save 
as you can see now as I refresh the page all the time I'm getting the uh, cards result five times from uh, the array that I've created randomly each individual card is different from the other and there is no any chance to uh, choose the card that you have selected previously as we have uh, removed it as soon as we uh, selected randomly and we pushed inside the pair so I'm gonna uh, refresh the page once again in order to see if everything uh, is uh, looking good okay I hope you like this video if you like this video please give a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe you want to see more future content until the next one be safe and have a nice day bye bye